happy day. Welcome to Katie Stories number 44. It's been a month and it's so good to be back. And you know what? The world is going a little bit crazy, wouldn't you say? So I say, you know what? Come on, man. Let's go back to the 70s. I'm going to take you back to Katie's diary. This diary I bought in 1979 and I was in grade seven. And I actually wrote through this diary for about three years from grade seven through grade 10. Yeah, I just kind of would squeeze in and find pages that weren't used. And so I thought, wouldn't it be kind of fun to explore? I pull this out about every 10 years and have a good laugh. And you know, um, I work in a high school and we were talking about the kids and their, you know, love for their phones, that big addiction and we we're just, you know, brainstorming some ideas of ways to, I don't know, inspire kids to get off their phones. And I put in a suggestion that what if we had like a 70s week at school and every day you wear a different outfit reminiscent of the 70s and you don't bring your phone. Everybody just leaves their phones at home or, you know, in their backpack if they need it for after school and just really get into a groovy where we all just, you know, Loved life, didn't need to be hooked on tech, big tech. So anyway, this is kind of funny. When I picked up this diary a little bit earlier, oh, and watch out because I'm just gonna bounce around here. If you're in here, <laughs> it's my grade seven photo, <gasps> you might be in my diary. So when I first opened my diary today, I was really shocked with the very, very first entry in grade seven. I almost was going to skip it, okay? Because I like to keep things positive. Except when I'm Dean Doom talking about politics, but that's a different thing. Just because I love you and I, I want us all to be okay. I'm spreading awareness. But when I'm, you know, doing my Katie stories, I like to keep them upbeat and fun and positive and find the gold, the gold in the tough times that we all live and go through. And so February 28th, what a vomit day. My poor sister Debbie is pregnant. Isn't that wild that I decided to do this story today? And in grade seven, February 28th, look at that. Now, why did I say it was a vomit day? Because my sister's pregnant? Well, because the guy she was dating at the time was a monster. My dad would always say, uh, it's crazy. If, that, if every story that guy said was true, he'd be like 100 years old. Like He's a bullshitter. And, you know, we knew he wasn't good for our sister. And, you know, she did go ahead and marry him. She did go ahead and have his baby. And, yeah, he was a monster. We were right. But she had two amazing kids. Kathy, my niece. Love you, Kathy. And Joffrey, my nephew. And what's really cool is just after I pick that up and kind of thought, well, maybe I'll flip to the next page and start there. Who walks in my back door but Joffrey, my nephew? <laughs> Talk about divine timing. And so I was telling him that. He thought that was pretty wild. And I thought, no, I think I will mention it because my nephew and my niece are the most extraordinary, amazing people. And my sister healed. She had a, a tough time resulting from that and was very abused. And But, you know, she really found herself and found her voice and worked um, helping feed the homeless and all kinds of wonderful things that she would put out there. So, you know, people do heal. Okay, so let's get to the nitty gritty stuff now because we're already at four minutes. Dear Diary, today I got a black blazer, $125 coat, and two halter tops. I hope the kids at school like them. At CYC, some kids said I look just like the Fonz. I just want to be myself, but nowadays it's called Only Clothing Makes the Man. I did good flips on the trampoline, but that's not what Andrew Minton was staring at. I think I had a crush on him. I had a crush on lots of people. Lonnie and Fred broke up. I sure hope they get back together. Good night. Lonnie was my brother Fred's first girlfriend, serious girlfriend, and they were. They were such a cute couple. My mom loved her, and it's kind of funny if they'd stayed together, what their kids would look like, because they were both beautiful with dark black curly hair. Today, so March, where are we? March 3rd. Today I got, hang on, I'm gonna put on my specs. Yeah, I'm gonna be 55 this year. The old eyes are 
starting to get a little bit sore. Well, reading up close, but not sore. Today I got some black cord big blues. Yeah, it's because the jeans were too expensive. They were $25.95 and the cords were $22.95. Yeah, and the jeans were $25.95. So my dad made me get the cords. Black cord big blues. I found my record grease. I wish Kenny hadn't moved. I loved him. I really did. Diana can't see why. I think Diana and I are slowly drifting apart. She always hangs around with that suck Donna Dawkins. Back to Kenny. I hope he comes back because I miss him terribly. I truly love him. Nobody's taken his place yet. I can't sleep and mom's so pig headed she won't let me use her bloody radio. What a stingy bitch. Oh my God. Can you believe I talk like that about my mom? We did though, we used to, she would make um, decisions sometimes just based on emotion. You know, if she was in a bad mood, no, you can't borrow it. Or she, good mood, yes. So uh, that never made sense to me. Um, and that was, you know, a bit of that control and some, some of the guilt stuff growing up. And Diana, oh, Diana Blackhall was my best friend. She was just lovely. She was, uh, we had a lot of fun. She was quite straight, what you would call, you know, goody goody. I was always kind of a good girl, but I, I teetered on the edge of hanging out with, you know, the naughty crowd too. I wanted to be viewed as a good girl, but I wanted to walk the line of, uh, yeah, you know, writing on the wall and at school, you know, vandalizing and smoking and getting into a bit of trouble. And sometimes my choice in boys wasn't very good. Donna Dawkins was a friend who was close to Diana, so we would get this triangle going sometimes and, and hiss. Grade seven was very interesting. Okay, back to the next page. My mean parents won't let me sleep over in BF's trailer. <laughs> Who's BF? <laughs> Hi, Barb. That would be Barb Fair. They're so mean. I said that we'd sleep in the house when they said the trailer was too cold at night, but they don't believe me. I'll tell more tonight. Well, I didn't get my own way. But next Friday, I'm allowed to go to the disco and sleep overnight at her house. I guess I'll go watch TV now. Oh, the disco. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of funny. Like our world right now is, in my opinion, kind of at a fever pitch. So much going on. And you know something? In 1979, the world was at a fever, fever pitch. It was called disco fever. That's why I kind of started out with my little born to be alive and my chachi shirt and Katie on the back. We had dog's ear. And you'd go downtown, get yourself a black, you know, a cap sleeve t-shirt, navy blue or red or black. That looked, you know, those are kind of the typical colors and get your favorite person on and your name on the back. This is not vintage, I wish it was. I had this made in 2005 when Jeff and I threw a 70s party at Lucid downtown. They had a Lucid, they were called Lucid Records for a while. So they actually sold albums and they had a press machine and t-shirts and they don't have that anymore, but I'm, I'm glad I took advantage of it when they did. So let's continue. Oh, the disco. There was two discos. There was Black Cat Disco downtown. I was not allowed to go there. It just seemed that kind of an older, tougher crowd went there and I was only 12. The Bevan Disco, you, uh, funny, it was further away from a house, but I was allowed to go there. You had to be 13 to get in. So BF and I would put on our blue eyeshadow and our black velvet blazers and our flare leg jeans and cords and, and, and these blouses, you know, like I had this awful blouse. Sometimes I would borrow my mom's. They had the big, you know, the big bows or the satin. Not really all that flattering, but at the time, you know, we all just wanted to grow up and be in on this disco thing. And since I couldn't afford that big flare leg jumpsuit, the jean one with the zipper and the cowl neck hanging out, well, then I would have to steal a pair of jeans from someone. Okay, so we would go there to the disco, but I'm gonna talk about that more. We'll hit that in the next page. Today, hardly any kids believe that my coat costs $125. I, I can't wait till the rain stops so I can wear my blazer. Tomorrow, I have to have an eye check. I'm scared because I have to get classes. What if everyone laughs and calls me four eyes? I wish I was blessed with good eyesight. 
But then again, that's life. I have to miss grass hockey practice and I can't do papers tomorrow because my appointment's at 3.30 since mom and dad have splurged on me and gave me $10 today for skiing. We were skiing with the school. I can't go to the disco this Friday. Oh well. Today we had grass hockey practice and had to run around the gym 20 times. When I got home, I started papers at 4.30 and didn't finish until 7.30. Was I ever tired? I went straight to bed. I didn't even get a tip. But then I was late. We have another practice on Thursday, but I don't think I'll come because I'll probably break down. Good night. I'll need all the sleep I can get. P.S. I didn't even eat and it was showering like hell. That's pretty good work ethic. I had a paper job doing it in the pouring rain and grass hockey practice. Didn't give myself enough credit. Okay, I'm gonna wind up, we're already 11 minutes. I'm gonna wind up with this last little page. Help me someone. Diana, Donna, and Karina called Diane S, Diane Smiley, a sleaze bag. Now Diana, Diane, Vicky, Kathy are all after them. They want me to help fight, but I don't wanna get involved. Diana's my best friend, so if I'm on Diana's side, Diana B will hate me. And if I'm on Diane and Donna, oh, Diane, Diana and Donna's side, Vicky, Diane, and Kathy, etc., will hate me. I'm in such a bloody mess. On March 22nd, 1979, I'm going skiing. And on March 23rd, I get my report card and have to see the eye specialist, Gads. <laughs> so funny. So I'm going to end it there. So that was March 7th. Okay. I know I've been a little serious as of late. Well, and I'm not going to stop, but it was time to get back to something fun and light. And so to the 70s we go. And I'll see you there again in a week or two. Okay? Have a great rest of your weekend. Keep smiling. Put on some music and dance. And let's not let this COVID thing get us down. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.